then we talk about the, the, the crisis in, in power and energy. We have the poorest power per capita amongst all the OPEC nations. And we understand that the lack of power removes about $135 billion from our GDP. And then Nigeria has now become the capital of piracy in the western coast of Africa. I don't want to talk about adulterated foods and drinks and drugs, road safety, or our over bloated government structure. I mentioned that already. But let's look at the economic structure and, and, and a wake-up call. This is a wake-up call. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, our GDP is made up of about 43% agriculture, wholesale and retail 18%, retail real estate 1.6%, telecom 5%, and so on. But it is all our foreign exchange and our foreign reserves are dependent on oil. But our oil reserves are in decline. I'll say it again. Our oil reserves are in decline. Presently, we have 36.5 billion barrels of oil in reserve, down from 37 billion a year ago. This is the first year that Nigeria has actually recorded a decline in reserves. The DPR just made it official two weeks ago. The DPR is the Department of Petroleum Resources. So our reserves are in decline. So that oil that we're all depending on is in decline. Oil production peaked in Nigeria in 2005 with 2.6 billion, 2.6 million barrels a day. Nigeria's share of total world market of oil is also in decline. As a matter of fact, our biggest customer, which is the United States, crude oil sale of what all the crude that the United States buys, Nigeria used to supply them 11% as of 2010. But as of 2012, which is this year, we sold less than 5% of total U.S. demand of crude. So again, our customers are beginning to shy away.